So good morning Luffy. Good morning Luffy. Good morning guys. We um, are about to leave Hobas. We're heading for La Palanga today um, for the cheetahs, which is going to be really cool. I really hope the cheetahs are still there and you're allowed to play with them like like you used to be. That group left early this morning and they made so much racket. Even I heard it, we heard it even yeah. So I'm glad we moved from that spot last night. We're gonna we're gonna head off now. So see you guys at La Palanga. I'm probably gonna do a drone video on the way. To show you guys, I'm going to show you guys how I shoot the video, like while I'm shooting it. I'm going to do that live, basically, and then show you the final product afterwards. Alright, let's go. Alrighty, okay guys, I'm gonna do a quick drone, um, driving drone video like I said I would. It's cold out here. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna shoot it, I'm not gonna shoot it in 4K, I'm gonna shoot it in slow-mo just in case I wanna use some of it in slow-mo. So I'm gonna shoot it in 1080p, which means I'm gonna shoot at 100 frames per second, which means my shutter speed should be around 200. But because it's a driving video, I like to boost it up to about 300. Um, just to get a bit more of an action-y feel to it. So I'm gonna shoot with the ND8 filter. So you just, these little filters are a pain in the butt to get off. <sighs> I'm gonna drive and fly the drone at the same time. Just kidding. Calm your pants down. The nice thing about this drone is this case is only this big. We used to have a case that's half as big as this fridge. Yeah, here we go, Liv. You can stop recording and come sit on this side. Hey guys, sorry for the today's director's tip. I don't really feel like a very good director, but at least I learned through my mistakes and I try and help you guys not to make the same mistakes that I have. So for that drone footage that I just said I shot, right? So with the pivot trees and doing a driving drone video where I show you guys how I shoot a video when Nick drives following the following the Bucky, getting some cool shots, and I talk you through the whole thing. All that amazing footage, gone. And I'm really bummed about it because it was such good footage and it would have added so much to this vlog. So basically today's director's tip is a good file system because I didn't lose this footage because I didn't take it off the drone or something corrupted. This was my own mistake. I didn't have a good file system and because of that, I lost footage because files were the same name or I put them in the wrong place and thought they were identical and I had them somewhere else, etc. So a good file system is really important. What I now like to do, what I used to do, let's start with what I used to do. Every day I drag some files into one giant folder for that day. But often when you shoot drone footage or some GoPro footage, you're not gonna take the footage off every single day, especially when you're really busy because you have a 64 gig memory card in your drone. You only, if you've only used 10 gig of it, you can shoot a few times, save yourself the effort to have to get the equipment out, get the memory card out, blah, blah, blah. So first of all, take the footage off every day if you can, just in case it corrupts or you lose it. Because if you forget that the footage is on there and you haven't done it, so if you're not consistent, what's gonna happen is you're gonna wanna take off, format the memory card, which is what I did, and start shooting again, thinking that you had taken it off because you haven't, sometimes you're tired, it's late at night, you've had a long day, whatever. So what I do now, I have a folder for each day with that day's date. And then under that folder, I have subfolders for the Sony, 
Sony stills, GoPro, drone, etc. And I copy those files into that day's folder at the end of every single day. Folders are important. Keep your work organized, know where it is. Luckily, this was a vlog which I was shooting for, for myself. If this was a client's work, say a wedding or commercial work, whatever, and I had done the same thing where I'd lost footage, you can't get that footage back. You can't go, hey, hey guys, so can we just reset up that entire shoot for a day and so I can get my footage back? So be careful, have a good file system and be organized. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Back to the vlog. Sorry, not gonna do drone footage, but such is life. Ciao. We've arrived at Lapa Lange Game Lodge. The little sign of Rhino. Yeah. Should have set up camp and chillax. Yep. Babe, oh. Let's get married again and get married here. So that right there, that's the spa. Spa. Where we're gonna get a massage, hey Luke? Yeah. Look at this place, it's gorgeous. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, how are you? Good. Not... Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sorry for you leaving the spa. Everywhere we go. Eh? Spa is not open or not available. It's fine, it's good weather. I don't care. I'm going to plonk no. myself on that thing over there. <laughs> okay, we're going to head to the campsite. How's this for a campsite? Grass. When do you ever get to camp on grass in Africa? This just doesn't happen, does it? So this is it. This is our spot for the next two days. We found uh, some, some shade. Bathroom with a giant elephant on it. I think the cheetah's cage is on that side there. So we're going to have a quick walk there before we do anything else. So let's go have a look at the cheetahs, yeah? Yeah, mate? Sorry, this used to be their old encounter. This is where the one cheetah grabbed me by the neck like this, just to play. He was just playing and then stuff. I still have a photo of the one licking my head. When they were babies, they, were, they used to run around the campsite and stuff. So you, they were like three little cheetahs running around everywhere. But then when they grew up, they started catching like the other small antelope and stuff that's also running around the campsite, like the black spring box and stuff, and they're really expensive. So they decided just for safety's sake, just to put them in there. Also like people with little kids and babies camp here now, so you can't take any chance. Ow! 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 That's the noise the cheetah makes, more or less, when they caught each other. Nah, no, they'll be somewhere in a bush leaping. Let's go check if we can see that other male. Hey, baby. Oh, Whoa. scary. He doesn't like it. No, he, these are the two wild ones. They're not tame. Whoa, they came quick. Why did they run towards us? Because they probably wanted to eat me. Yeah, when you, when you picture a cheetah, you don't expect them to be quite as big. They're going to be a bit cuddly. You expect them to be like slightly more cuddly. And, but this is a big dude. Like, he's a big cheetah. Are they both males? I think so, yeah. That was... But yeah, they came pretty quick once they heard me. Yeah. And not in a mummy's home. No, no, oh, they were mommy. like, oh, who can I eat? So before all you trolls come at me, or come at the comments, go, why are they in an enclosure, Mark? The enclosure's tiny, blah, blah, blah. These cheetahs are here because they've actually been saved from being killed. Um, by the surrounding farmers and stuff because they obviously they eat the livestock anywhere in the world where wild animals and livestock clash there's always problems so what these guys do when there's a farmer in the surrounding that's got a cheetah problem they catch the cheetah instead of the farmer killing it or poisoning it or whatever which not all farmers do so not all the farm please farmers don't come at me now they they catch the cheetahs or try and try and catch the cheetahs and then they either let them loose somewhere else or put them in the enclosure. That's why they uh, I'm not I didn't put them in here, I'm just telling you. You're just gonna put everyone outside, aren't you? Dark bad. <laughs> really hoping I'm gonna get there in time. The rhinos have walked around the dam. I'm gonna be able to get a really, really close up shot. If I get there in time, they literally stand against the thing.
place is just phenomenal. There's just something about Africa, isn't there? That just the birds and the smells and the fresh air and the sunsets. Like, look at the sunsets. If you, if you guys, if anyone out there is watching this and you were planning on taking a holiday at any time soon, just do it. Just do it. Just stop sitting in work all day and making money. You can always make more money. Just come on a holiday. Enjoy your life. Look at it. Anyway, we're going to go have dinner now. So I'm going to end the vlog here and say goodnight and see you guys tomorrow for some cool cheetah action and it's going to be epic. Thanks for watching guys. Ciao.